law of conservation of mass or also known as the law of conservation of matter now what does this law says before getting into it i'll give you an example which you would have done in class 1 or 2 or maybe you know whatever it was if i tell you to add 5 and 3 how much is this going to be equal to this is going to be equal to 8 right similarly if i tell you add 6 and 3 this will be equal to 9 have you heard that when you add these 5 and 3 in the process just because of this virtue of this addition one number got lost okay and therefore this was not 8 but 7 that is incorrect why because when you add 5 and 3 you get 8 similarly when you add 6 and 3 you will always get 9 you cannot get 8 you by saying that you know while i was adding these 3 with this 6 there was a loss of 1 and therefore what i have reached is 8 that is incorrect the law of conservation of mass or matter is something similar okay and now i'll tell you why i gave you this example the law of conservation of mass says that you know at any given point in time if let's say for example there are two substances let me call them as s1 and s2 okay which combine together and let's say for example whatever is the mass of these let's say the mass of substance 1 is 60 the mass of substance 2 is 40 so what this law of conservation of mass conservation means what saving protection protection of mass right so what this law of conservation of mass or law of conservation of matter says is that whenever two or more substance get together in any kind of a chemical combination okay so if you do any kind of a chemical combination on these two substance which could be anything right whatever is formed as a result of this chemical combination right let's say what is formed is uh, f1 right the mass of this thing which is formed as a result of chemical combination of or chemical reaction whatever you might call it is always going to be equal equal to the mass of these two taken together so if i add 60 and 40 what do i get 100 so the law of conservation of mass conservation means saving protection which says that the mass of these two individual substance and it could be anything else as well which might be used to do this chemical combination is always going to be equal to the mass of what is formed as a result of this chemical combination now these two things these two substance okay s1 and s2 which kind of get together in a chemical combination are known as the reactants why because they are the ones who are reacting together combining together and what is formed is known as the product right now obviously this entire thing this entire thing has to be in a closed container because if you do it in an open thing then obviously this law will not apply because what will happen is if you keep it open some bit of a thing will come in or the other so let's say for example if i show you this in the form of a diagram if you have a container okay and here basically you put an s1 let's say i'm representing s1 through this blue dotted line and then you put in s2 okay and you just close the lid through a cork or something right and let's say this is s2 is equal to 40 of mass s1 is equal to 60 of mass after the reaction is complete okay and i'm assuming there is no weight of air or everything but in normal cases if this is not complete then there will be some bit of air as well which will also have its own mass right after the reaction is complete whatever is formed as a result of this particular thing let's say what is formed is something different which it has to be right the mass of this which is f1 what in our example is going to be 100 now to take an example of this okay if you heat if you heat calcium carbonate okay then this has been proved through various experiments if you heat calcium carbonate let's say 
uh, 1000 gram of calcium carbonate right then when you apply heat to this calcium carbonate it is going to disintegrate into two things when I say disintegrate it means separate one is calcium oxide and the second is going to be carbon dioxide so based on the various experiments and everything that has been done it has been proven that if 1000 gram of calcium carbonate is heated right this is going to disintegrate into 560 gram of calcium oxide and 440 gram of carbon dioxide right so effectively if you see the total mass the total mass of these two which have been formed through disintegration of calcium carbonate is equal to these two the total weight of calcium carbonate in this case I told that you know two, two things are getting added to form a third one here one is breaking down into the other two but in both the cases the mass of what is formed or the product okay in this case which are the products which we have the products is P1 P2 and the reactant is what it's calcium carbonate because reactant is what it's nothing on but on which you are causing a chemical reaction with that we come to an end of this video thank you for being with us today